everyone, Tiago Castro here with the first English tutorial where I will teach a combination of techniques in After Effects. I am using artificial intelligence for this dubbing since my native language is Portuguese and this incurs a cost for me. So if you like the content, I will leave a link to download the material for the entire project where you can contribute to help me continue creating content in various languages. I will be dubbing the lessons already recorded in Portuguese. I apologize if any word is not clear, but I will improve. So that's it folks. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment with your feedback on the lesson. And let's get started. I will divide this lesson into more than one part, and you can follow along as well. Let's start with this screen here, which is basically a hand opening with this coin, doing a faked 3D rotation. With this, the movement in the background, the flicking kiss. So here we are going to learn a lot of things. I know it's annoying, but I'm going to take the opportunity to ask, help me out. Like the video, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. It helps me a lot. It's the only thing I ask in return for the knowledge and content I share with you. This will help a larger audience and let more people learn with us. That's it. Let's get started with our lesson. Here I have our project imported. I'll make the files available to you. Ask me or I will pin them in the comments. It is important to highlight my friend Savio Felix did the art direction here. The guy is amazing. I've been working with him for I think more than three or four years. Whenever I need ideas, well, I definitely call Savio, among other colleagues at work. Julio, Rafa, they are the guys who are always, you know, always around me. And that's it. He has already prepared the screen with all the elements separated here. See? In pre-comp. This pre-production organization is always important, right? Look. Here we have the layer of the coin, cloud, the hand, and the clouds that are behind the buildings. Here is the graphic, which are these lines that we will also play with. This texture. The building on the left, the building on the right. Another texture that goes down here. And the BG. Oh, I got into the habit of pressing Cetral S to save the project. This is important because if something goes wrong, you won't lose anything. Let's start animating. Let's start with the coin. I will enter the pre-comp of the coin. Look, coin front. If I turn it off, coin back, which is the back side, I will leave it in 3D. Now I will change the view right here to the top view. What do we need to do right now exactly? We are going to fake that volume on the coin to give it a real 3D feel because it actually has volume. For that, I am going to do a workaround, also known as a technical adjustment, okay? So I will duplicate by pressing Ctrl D this front coin. And with the up arrow key, I will press it once. In other words, on the Z axis, I move this layer a little bit further away. And I will do this several times to create this volume. There I think it already has a nice volume. Look, let's leave this back part right here. It's fine. And let's go back to the active camera, okay? Now what are we going to do? We are going to create a new, a new layer, new, and I will position it right exactly in the precise center of the coin. I will also definitely leave it in 3D for now. Let's take a closer and more detailed look at the top view. I will very carefully position this null object in the middle of these different layers. Ensuring that it aligns accurately with the surrounding elements is important. I will rename it to Sectral, just to keep things organized, okay? For better clarity and organization. 
I return to the active camera. And now, right now, I will link all of these layers to this cotrel. What is this for? Our null, which we can call the controller. It will be the layer that will control the rotation of our coin, okay? If I press the R key, I already have the rotation parameters here. Let's adjust the Y axis. Do you see it created the volume there? However, as we know, the other side of the coin is still undoubtedly the front, right? So, what am I going to do? I'm going to take this back layer and pull it up here. So, and if I rotate it now, the back side is our face there. I don't even know who that guy is. Anyway, that's it. Here we already have our coin ready. I'll leave the animation for later, okay? But you can see that we've already created our volume here. To make it a little bit more interesting, I want this side to be slightly more significantly darker. So, I will apply some additional levels adjustment layer. I am going to adjust the black tones, okay? I adjusted it roughly here. I will just copy it and basically apply it to all these layers, except for the front layer and the back layer. There. Do you notice it got darker here now? That's the intention. Our coin is ready, it's not animated yet. And now, let's move on. Let's keep the coin here. Let's go. So, come here to the layer on frame zero. I will leave it exactly right at zero. I will mark a keyframe. We can already start with a small rotation. Minus 30 degrees. Let's... Our final comp will be 4 seconds. Let's leave it here. Guys, this was the first part of the lesson. And as I mentioned, I'm using artificial intelligence to do this dubbing in English. And this incurs a cost for me. So in order for me to continue producing the dubbing for the other parts of this lesson, it's important to have your support. The link to download the material for these projects is pinned in the comments. Thank you, and see you next lesson. Like, like, like,